Break that down for me. You said we are utilizing a lot of domestic uh, resources. What does that mean? Because, uh, you know, what i mean like it is always nice to uh, you know the people at the top who are making the, the decisions to understand okay we are following this theory we are following that theory that kind of thing but that does not happen to the person out there the everyday sri lankan uh, he is more concerned about how, how will I, will carrot will uh, you know the price of carrot will go up uh, what's going to happen next uh, two three months am i going to have a job these are the questions they have now tell me what do you mean by you know taking in the resources of the local market yeah so you're right now if you look at the overall trade deficit merchandise trade deficit we still consume about three and a half billion dollars worth of consumer items now most of these consumer items can be produced locally mm. which we are not doing we have not doing it for a simple reason is that we have been bogged down with this doctrine called comparative advantage which has been handed down to us in economic textbooks even marketing economics everyone has learned that so in in that sense we continue to feel that we should be able to yeah, import yeah. cheaper and export whatever we can yeah. so everything the lazy method the lazy method so that is easy that's why i said it's a chronic structural problem that we have faced and so this was there for this is there from post 1977 so it's about 44 years mm. since we've you know tried to structurally changes it has not been possible for many reasons one is as you said the popular method is to feed the people and keep them happy mm -hmm. so that you know their their basic needs are met and the easiest thing is to just open the tap use your domestic savings domestic savings is all the foreign currencies that we save which we utilize for our import consumption and part of our debt servicing so the balance which we can't uh, fund we have to borrow so there's a, a 10 so we have a uh, a 10 billion dollar export proceeds we have 20 billion dollars of imports the gap okay. is 10 billion dollars so we need to use some of our savings which is another 7 and a half billion 8 billion dollars there plus for any capital expenditure and debt repayment we have to go to the markets and borrow so that's the nature of our balance sheet that we have inherited now people have been talking about current account deficit Uh, fiscal deficit for donkey's years with no tangible yeah, yeah, yeah. action plan put in now this action plan is not easy it's difficult as you rightly said mm -hmm. and people on the street don't care but what is the option we have come to a point that we have we have to really step back and see what do we want to do as a country do we want to continue to start expanding our merchandise trade deficit right import all this you know in one year we imported 1.5 billion dollars worth of vehicles thank god that has stopped mm. like that there are many other import items which we could locally produce which we call imp import replacement industries now that has to be given prominence that has to be given a push that's the only way we can reduce our deficit yeah. so that we that will increase our uh, we have to increase our revenue and also reduce our cost from oh, this basically